Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Shalom, Om Swastiastu Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan Tapi selamat lima nalatai Salam sujud karenir melempang Adil Katalino Wajurami Kasaruga Basengat Kajubata Harus Distinguished ladies and gentlemen As a young generation Who is very active in cultural events And who has participated in the IYC Borneo Initiative Youth Camp International Workshops in 2020 I'm Elkano Victorian Abel As the representative of SMIS Golden Christian School Will be delivering a speech entitled Environmental Awareness Albert Einstein, a famous physicist, once said The world is a dangerous place to live Not because of people who are evil But because of the people who don't do anything about it Honorable ladies and gentlemen In the beginning, God has given us a perfect earth With healthy and harmonious humans, animals living And sufficient natural resources Everything has been provided for us Therefore, we have the privilege to enjoy the earth itself Under one condition To utilize and preserve the mother earth wisely Ironically, we as humans arrogantly exploit all the natural resources for our own good and are slowly neglecting our ultimate responsibility. As a result, there have been many bad changes in our environment. Even though the environment changes have also been purely caused by the natural disasters, yet the most destructive environment change factor is us. The environment changes have resulted soil, water, and air pollution, which have been the biggest factors to the climate change and global warming. For great instance, the deforestation has been exploited by the massive palm oil tree plantation, illegal logging, forest fire, and many more. It has caused landslide, droughts, soil infertility, and flood issues, as what we have seen in central Kalimantan currently. On the other side, water and air pollution have been caused by industries and transportation exhausts, littering, factories, and household wastes. That result wars and poisonous air and water quality, which lead to many dangerous and deadly diseases, like what we can see from what's happening in worldwide. Hence, ladies and gentlemen, it has become a global issue. Ladies and gentlemen, based on BBC News on October 13, 2021, scientists found that the Earth's temperature is now at 1.2 degrees Celsius. With only this number, we have seen that the North Pole is now slowly melting and causing climate change that obviously will contribute to global warming. Now, the scientists said that if the temperatures rise cooled and cap within 1.5 degrees Celsius, the UK and Europe will be flooding caused by extreme rainfall. Meanwhile, Middle East countries will experience extreme heat waves and farmland could turn into desert. Similarly, island nations in the Pacific region, including our country, Indonesia, could disappear under rising seas. Can we imagine how catastrophic and destructive will be, ladies and gentlemen? Can we imagine the hardship that will be faced by our next generation. Can we boldly imagine how confused and mad our next generation will be owing to our greediness and stupidity in utilizing the natural resources at the moment? 
Honorable ladies and gentlemen, we know our government has been working hard to overcome this environmental issue through many efforts. Nevertheless, those are not enough. Why? I recently read news in VOA Indonesia saying that the Minister of Indonesian Environment Department commented on her Twitter that the massive deforestation program in our country mustn't be stopped on behalf of carbon emission. Also, the government is currently planning to recruit farmers and teachers to combat the sentiment of palm oil plantation. Well, I strongly disagree with these statements. Because our environment is really in crisis right now. And the deforestation has biggest contribution in carbon emission and has resulted extremely huge destruction on our environment. Therefore, the government must seriously work on the zero deforestation policy implementation. Like what has been done from the European countries and the United States, no matter what. On the other hand, I believe the young generation has significant influence on countries' improvement and development. Consequently, I, as the representative of Indonesian young generation, urge the government, especially the education ministry, to make environmental awareness as a part of the national curriculum to awaken and equip young generation on the importance of preserving environment for the future. Last but not least, we need to keep implementing our country's model Gotong Royo, meaning people all over the world work together to preserve the environment. Once we do this, we can undoubtedly solve the global problem to give a safe and peaceful place to live. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, the urgency of saving world is the same as the urgency of breathing. Once we stop breathing, well, you know the answer. Thank you.